Greetings, folks. Today, I'm coming to you from Bodega Dunes Campground, Sonoma Coast State Park. It is July 21st. Here's a view of Highway 1, Bodega Bay. We're going to head into this campground area and hike a little trail. Okay, the name of this trail that I'll be on is called, is called the Coastal Prairie Trail. And we're headed to the Nicholas Green Bell Tower. Also the Bodega Bay Community Center. It's about a half a mile. We're going to start by going over this little bridge, walkway type thing. And I'll take you with me. It's a gray, overcast, foggy kind of a day here in Bodega Bay. I usually go to Doran Beach and get my exercise there, but today I thought I'd do something different and this came to mind. Wow, look at all of that poison oak. It certainly is that bright red color that it gets this time of year. There is plenty of it. Thankfully, there's no poison oak on this beautiful, wide, clean, quiet path. There are plenty of pine trees or evergreens of some sort all around here. Lots of brush. And I've only passed a couple of people on this trail so far. Well, we're very quickly coming upon the uh, children's bell tower, which if you've never seen, I think you might find it interesting. Okay, we are going to first look at a tree that is heavily decorated and also a little memorial. Our first stop will be at the tree. I will just pan around and show you some of these chimes that people have put here. And I'll be telling you why in just a minute. Gosh, there's every type of wind chime here, or I, I guess some of them are just mobiles. You know, little artistic, crafty things that people have made and left on this tree. Oh, I like this one. Some of them make noise and some don't. Some are out of simple things like driftwood and shells, and others are a little bit more elaborate. But I think the majority of them are homemade. Here's the memorial to Nicholas Green. I'll tell you his story. This actually says uh, 1987 to 1994. He was only seven years old when he died. And as you can tell, people are leaving lots of little trinkets here as well. We're going to head down this path and I'll tell you a little bit about Nicholas Green, who traveled to Italy back in 1994 with his parents on vacation. Uh, he was shot and killed in Italy by a botched, by a, a criminal who botched a robbery job. He was not the intended victim, but he was in a car that looked like the car that the perpetrators were actually 
trying to shoot a jeweler. I believe it was some sort of jewelry uh, robbery. Anyway, Nicholas Green was the one caught in the uh, crossfire. His parents, however devastated they must have been, donated his organs, and those donated organs saved the lives of seven, I believe, Italian families or Italian people. And the Italians were so touched by this that they began a big drive, which is now called the Nicholas Effect, to donate organs when their loved ones die. I'll read this out loud. It says this memorial is dedicated to children everywhere. It was inspired by the death of seven-year-old Nicholas Green of Bodega Bay, who was shot by highway robbers in Italy in 1994. All of the bells were donated, mostly by families, schools, and churches in Italy to express their sorrow and their appreciation for the decision of the parents to donate the organs to seven Italians. They symbolize the continuity of life. The centerpiece is from the Marinelli Foundry, which has been making bells for the papacy for a thousand years. This bell which has on it the names of Nicholas and the seven recipients, was blessed by Pope John Paul II. And the memorial was designed and built by Bruce Hansen of San Francisco. Let's check out the memorial now. It is a beautiful memorial. I'll get closer. So a lot of these bells were made by various people from all over Italy and sent over here so this could be sculpted in memorial, in memory of Nicholas Green. Only seven. <sighs> Tragic story. And how generous, even through their grief, his parents were to make sure that other people lived through his donated organs. Let's see if I can get a close up of that center bell. That would be the one blessed by the Pope. And it has all the names of the recipients of the don of the uh, organs that Nicholas Green's parents donated. Here's another view. It's very still here today. If there was wind, we would hear these bells making noise and chiming. But as luck would have it, it's very still today. The sun is actually going to come out, which is nice. I'll go ahead and turn around and go back the other way on this trail. But I hope you've enjoyed seeing this beautiful, um, it's called the Bell Tower, in memory of Nicholas Green, but in dedication to all children. Just letting you know, if you visit Bodega Bay, you need to just look for the community center on Highway 1 and take the short walk behind it and you'll find the bell tower. I'm going to say that's it for this video. Take time to wander and I'll probably make another one today since I'm up here in Bodega Bay. Bye for now.